Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the testimonials plugin by WooThemes, which is a pretty simple little plugin, probably needs a few more uh, uh, additions to it, but it's a good plugin, good solidly, uh, well, well developed, and we'll have, uh, we'll have quite a lot of updates coming to it very soon. Okay, uh, so basically how it works is if you, you, if you see it on your website, you'll see a little thumbs up and a testimonials, and you'll see a list of them. Okay, now there's two ways the image can be brought in. If the if the user have a, has a gravatar uh, has a gravatar image with assigned to their email address, it will automatically pull that in. But if they don't, you have to set up a, a featured image for it. Okay. Um, so what you have is you have a title. So that's the that's the person giving the testimonial. And really, they only work well if they're short testimonials. If you're going to have a big bunch of text, pretty useless. And anyway, no one reads those anyway. What I suggest is if you have a big bunch of text for a testimonial, pick out the best part of it and then start off the testimonial like you see in newspapers and that, or the back of books I should say, you'll see dot dot dot, which basically means this is trailing to uh, and part of a larger testimonial, a larger uh, um, a piece. So you have the, the name, you have the, uh, have the description text, then you can, if they've got an email address that's got a gravatar image, which, you know, Anyone who's serious should have one. Um, and then you've got the byline, maybe where they're, what company they're from, and a URL to their website if necessary. Or you can put the byline to, you know, with the word amazing or some, one of the major words or two words that they've actually said in the testimonial. You can also set an order. And as I said before, if they don't have a gravatar image, you set the featured image. Now, um, so what, how, does that, how does that look on a website? Well, there you can see here um, with the testimonials, you, know, you can it lays out nicely on a homepage widget area, and can also uh, look. You can also put it in the sidebar. You can also put it uh, within a page. Um, and there's uh, with with the widget area, you'll see with the testimonials, there's a um, there's a widget you can use. And if you have a look on the the plugin site under other notes, you will also see some hooks and filters you can use. Um, and then you can also have short codes, and you can even have a short code with ID, IDs in it, ID numbers and stuff like that, so you can pull in a specific short code. Okay, so it's a great little plugin. I'd love to see some extra support for maybe a, a video, uh, because video testimonials are coming thick and fast these days, um, and a few more other little features that I think would, would, would help it a little bit more as well. But anyway, it's a great little plugin. That's how you use it. Uh, keep it simple. Um, and uh, you won't have any problems with it. So that's the test Wood Testimonials plugin.